Welcome back to another exciting episode of Invincible Comics, where we explore the epic battles between some of the most powerful beings in the universe. Today, we're diving into the showdown between two unstoppable forces, Conquest and Invincible. Conquest, the infamous Viltrumite warrior, has arrived on Earth to assert his dominance and crush anyone who stands in his way. But standing in his path is Invincible, our hero who is willing to do whatever it takes to protect his planet and its people. In this battle of strength, speed, and strategy, who will come out on top? Will Invincible be able to defeat this formidable foe, or will Conquest reign supreme? Buckle up and get ready for an intense showdown that you won't want to miss. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more thrilling adventures in the Invincible Comics universe. After the Invincible War, during which evil versions of Invincible almost destroyed the entire Earth, Mark Grayson is feeling down and depressed as he helps with the cleanup effort after the devastating battle. Suddenly, an old Viltrumite named Conquest arrives to inform Mark of his Viltrumite duties. He warns Mark that if he doesn't help take over the planet, he will be replaced and killed. But Mark tells him it's not a good time, only for Conquest to reveal that he was sent specifically because the Viltrum Empire knew he would resist. As they charge towards each other, causing a massive shockwave, Conquest overpowers Mark and crushes him through a building. He then taunts Mark with the words of Anissa, the woman who previously tried to convince Mark to let the Viltrumites take over Earth. Conquest admits that he doesn't care about the Viltrumites' plans, and simply enjoys the challenge of fighting someone as powerful as Mark. However, Mark uses his anger and frustration to punch Conquest, but it seems to have no effect as Conquest smiles and praises Mark. Mark then launches himself at Conquest, sending him crashing through another building. In an intense struggle, Mark finally manages to punch Conquest into orbit. As Conquest sends Mark hurtling towards the stratosphere with a grin on his face, Mark tries to break free, but to no avail. Conquest then declares, ENOUGH GAMES, and lands a punch on Mark, shattering one of his precious monocles. Mark plummets down at a breakneck speed, getting pummeled by Conquest along the way. His hand clutches at his eye, which is throbbing with pain from Conquest's blow. Meanwhile, on the other side of town, Debbie and her boyfriend Paul watch the battle unfold on the news with concern. Oliver, Mark's half-brother, rushes out to help, but it seems like a futile attempt. The two super-powered beings move at a speed too fast for him to catch up. Despite Mark's attempts to reason with conquest, the Viltrumite refuses to stop, thoroughly enjoying the battle. Just as all hope seems lost, Oliver launches a surprise attack on conquest, distracting him for a moment. Mark sees this as his chance to save his younger brother and throws him out of harm's way but Conquest quickly regains his composure and shoves Mark down with his elbow at his neck. In a last-ditch effort, Mark headbutts Conquest, much to the villain's amusement. Catching Mark's last punch, Conquest smirks and remarks that if this is all the strength he has, he will likely die. Meanwhile, under the Pentagon, Cecil learns of the battle and rushes to see if D.A. Sinclair has the four alternate Marks ready as Reanimon but Sinclair informs him that their dense tissue makes him unable to cut through to make the reanimate process. Cecil looks on in horror, knowing that the fate of the world rests on their shoulders. Then God help us all, he says with a heavy heart. As Adam and Betsy Wilkins sat glued to the TV watching the breaking news, they couldn't believe what they were seeing. The media had mistakenly identified Conquest as Omni-Man, and the whole world was watching as the invincible superhero was getting pummeled by his foe. But their shock turned to absolute disbelief when Eve, who had been in a coma for two days, suddenly woke up and saw the carnage unfolding on the screen. Desperate to help, Eve accidentally revealed Mark's secret identity as invincible. With a fierce determination in her eyes, she ordered a doctor to contact Cecil and arrange for transportation to the battle zone. Meanwhile, Conquest was tossing Mark around like a rag doll, revealing that he had even met Nolan when he was younger, proving that he was much older than Nolan appeared to be. Just as it seemed all hope was lost, Oliver once again appeared out of nowhere and caught Conquest off guard, helping Mark up in the process. Using Conquest's advanced age as a reason they could beat him, Oliver attempted to turn the tide of the battle. But Conquest was not one to be underestimated, and he quickly swatted Mark away to fight Oliver. In a gruesome turn of events, Conquest punched Oliver so hard that he lost many teeth and broke his arm. The ruthless villain then attempted to rip him in half, 
but Mark intervened just in time. Meanwhile, Cecil's med team arrived to pick up Oliver and rush him to the hospital. As the battle continued to rage on, Debbie was filled with concern for Oliver's safety, but her boyfriend Paul did his best to comfort her. William, Rick, Amber Bennett, Gary, and Art could only watch in horror as Mark was overwhelmed by the sheer strength and power of Conquest. The battle between Conquest and Invincible intensifies as they clash with brute force and unimaginable speed. Mark lands a fierce punch on Conquest, but the latter quickly recovers and sends him flying into a destroyer ship. Just as Mark struggles to get back on his feet, Eve arrives on the scene, determined to help her friend. However, her arrival only adds to Mark's anxiety, knowing that Conquest is not someone to be underestimated. Conquest unleashes his wrath on both Mark and Eve, breaking Mark's leg and impaling Eve. Mark holds a dying Eve in his arms, his heart aching with grief and despair. But even in the face of such cruelty, Mark refuses to back down, and with all his strength, he declares that he won't let Conquest live to see another day. Conquest, however, sees Mark's compassion as a weakness and relishes in the battle, licking the blood from his finger. Mark knows that he is no match for Conquest's strength and speed, but his determination to protect his loved ones pushes him forward. The two clash with such force that Mark breaks his forearm while Conquest's cybernetic arm is destroyed. In the heat of the battle, Eve rises from her near-death state, her body rebuilt and stronger than ever. She unleashes a beam of energy that burns much of Conquest's skin, and Mark seizes the opportunity to pummel him relentlessly. With his body battered and bruised, Conquest lunges at Eve, intent on killing her, but Mark refuses to let him lay a finger on her. The battle between the three rages on, each moment more intense than the last, as the fate of the world hangs in the balance. As Mark lays on the ground, writhing in pain, Conquest towers over him, ready to deliver the finishing blow. But in a sudden burst of adrenaline-fueled rage, Mark headbutts Conquest, causing his face to deform under the impact. With his opponent momentarily stunned, Mark takes the opportunity to crawl towards Eve, who lies naked and unconscious on the ground. As he cradles her in his arms, Mark confesses his love for Eve, tears streaming down his face. Just as he fears that she's gone forever, a group of heroes from various comic universes arrives to transport them to safety. Days later, Mark awakens in a hospital bed, his body broken and bruised. Eve is by his side, relieved that he's come back to her. Through their emotional reunion, Eve confides in Mark that her powers are capable of overcoming the mental blocks installed in her brain by the government, as long as she experiences enough trauma to unlock them. The revelation shakes Mark to his core, realizing the immense burden that Eve has been carrying. From that day forward, he vows to support her and stand by her side no matter what challenges they may face. Mark and Eve's conversation is interrupted by a loud knock on the hospital door. Debbie and Paul rush in, visibly distraught. Debbie breaks down in tears and begs Mark to give up being a superhero. Mark struggles to respond as he still feels the intense pain of his injuries. Paul puts his hand on Mark's shoulder and assures him that they will take care of everything. As Debbie and Paul leave, Cecil enters the room. He solemnly asks Mark to talk, and Mark, still reeling from the emotional trauma, asks where Conquest is. Cecil reveals that Conquest is dead, and Mark stares in disbelief at the news. He struggles to process the fact that he killed another being, even though it was in self-defense. After Cecil leaves, Mark turns to Eve, who has been listening to the conversation. He asks her what he should do now that he's killed someone. She reminds him that he did what he had to do to protect them, but Mark can't shake the feeling of guilt and shame. Days pass, and Mark's physical wounds slowly heal, but his emotional wounds remain. He becomes more distant and withdrawn, and his once unwavering moral code is shattered. He decides that he can no longer afford to hesitate when it comes to killing his opponents, if he deems it necessary. From this moment on, Mark realizes that he has become a different person, and he wonders if he can ever go back to who he was before.